Can't keep my hands to myself Hi guys! So this is the look that I was actually wearing in my 2015 favorite slash giveaway video and so many of you commented saying how much you loved my eyeshadow and a bunch of you asked for a tutorial on it so here goes and I just want to say thank you and I love you to all of my original subscribers and to all my new subscribers and welcome to my channel. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is prime our eyes. I got this eyeshadow primer in my Ipsy bag and it is by Elizabeth Mott and it is called Thank Me Later. So for this look we are using the Morphe 35B palette and that is the only eyeshadow we're going to be using for this look. So I'm starting off with this neutral shade and just applying it in my crease and then I'm going in with this light pale pink shade and applying that in the crease as well. Now we're going to go in with this hot pink shade and I'm using the 224 brush from MAC and we're going to start to build up that crease color. So I'm starting off with a softer wash of color just so we can blend that out and get a nice fade going on and then I'm going to go in with the 217 brush from MAC which is slightly denser than the 224 and that's going to increase the pigmentation in our crease and I'm going to really build up that hot pink color because we want that nice and bright. Okay, then I'm going to go in with this royal purple shade and again the 217 brush from MAC. And I'm going to start to apply that in the crease as well and build up that color, mixing it with the hot pink. And then start to blend that all over the eyelid. And then I'm just going in with my Luxe Crease Brush from Zoeva Cosmetics and just buffing that crease out so there are no harsh edges. Alright, now we are going back in with that purple and I'm using the 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush from Zoeva Cosmetics. And we're just going to start to build the crease up. I'm using a smaller brush just so it becomes a little bit more defined. And then I'm going to start to build that purple up on the outer corner of the eye. Okay, and then going in with this really gorgeous sparkly metallic blue, I am taking a flat shader brush and I am applying this all over the lid. You could also foil this shade if you want it to be a little bit more metallic. Alright guys, so that is it for the eyes for now. Let's move on to the face and then we'll finish up the eyes in a little bit. I am using the Studio Water Weight Foundation from MAC. And I'm going to color correct under my eyes using that bright orange shade in this Ben Nye Color Concealer Wheel. Because I got some blue circles under my eyes right now. P.S. guys, how freaking cute is this mirror? I got it from the dollar store for a dollar. And for the rest of my concealer and highlighting, I'm going to be using this gel serum concealer from Sephora. You know the drill, highlight the shit out of your face and blend out. And then I'm using this translucent powder from Tarte and the 135 brush from MAC. And I'm just going to use this to set my highlighted areas. And then this is the Hello Flawless powder from Benefit. I'm just going to use that to set the rest of my face. Alright, now going in with this deep blue shade in the Morphe M321 brush, I'm just going to buff that under my eye. You can be nice and smoky with this. And then going back in with that metallic blue shade, I'm going to buff that over the dark blue to brighten it up. 
And then taking this charcoal shade, I'm going to blend that under my eye as well. And then just for some depth, I'm going to apply a little bit in the outer corner of my eye. Okay, taking this matte white shade, I'm going to apply that to the inner corner. You can go in with a shimmery shade on the inner corner of the eye as well if you would like. And then I'm going to be using the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer from Tarte. This is in one of their contour palettes, but they sell this bronzer individually as well. And again, I'm using the 135 brush from MAC. And then I'm using this bronzing blush from Pixie that I also got in an Ipsy bag one time for my blush. And then for my highlight, I'm going to be using my favorite highlighter, the Champagne Glow palette. Going in first with Champagne Glow and then for some extra dimension and highlight, accentuating with pearl. And then I applied pearl to the inner corner of my eyes on top of that matte white shade. Okay, I'm just going to be applying a thin black line on top of my eyes. I didn't do a wing. You can absolutely put a winged liner on this if you want, but I just wanted a little bit of definition to my lashes, and I just wanted to do a thin line just so I could hide the band of the false lashes I'm going to put on. All right, now we're switching it up and going to the brows. I am using my Browsings Kit from Benefit Cosmetics. I haven't used this guy in a while, but lately I have been using it all the time to do my brows just because it's nice and quick and easy. And I'm just going in with the powder. I did not use the wax. I like using powder in my brows too when I'm doing a really bold eye look because it gives a softer look to your brows so it's not as harsh and not so like bold on bold. And with my super blonde hair too, I've been feeling lighter, softer brows. Alright, so apply some mascara before we put on our falsies. I'm using the Roller Lash from Benefit. I'm sorry guys, I totally don't remember what false lashes I'm using in this video, but just put on your favorite pair. So I'm taking this lip liner from NYX Cosmetics in the shade Nude, and I'm just going to outline my lips and slightly fill them in. And then I'm taking this lip gloss from MAC in the shade Softly Lit. And then to finish off, I am just spritzing my face with some primer water, and we are done. I hope you guys like this look. Please remember to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. See you in the next video. Bye! Can't keep my hands to myself.